Hey, I'm Christopher Griffith. And I'm Summer Lasky. And this is ATV News. The results are in for the student body executive board elections. Carly O'Toole is our new student body president. Mason Dincuzzi is vice president. Connor O'Toole is sergeant at arms. Lauren Williams and Molly Kuntz will share the secretary position. And Zoe Politis is treasurer. Congratulations to all these student leaders. Attention all seniors. All school issued Chromebooks and hotspots must be returned by the end of the school year. When exams are completed, please return these devices to the media center. The hotspots will not work after the last day of school. Anyone except for seniors may keep their Chromebooks for the summer unless they are leaving WCPSS. Virtual students should return devices by bringing them to the school and giving them to Ms. Wheeler or Ms. Ruthven. Congratulations to our latest regional track and field qualifiers. Krista Schobot and Noah Valio in the 1600, Carly O'Toole and Grace Anderson in the 800, the girls 4x100 team of Kayla Harding, Nefema Kalajayi, Maddie Swan, and Chanel Azubrenwu, the girls 4x200 team of Kayla, Nefemi, Laura Kate, Westerbeek, and Chanel, and Nefemi also qualified in the long jump. Hey freshmen, want to stay caught up on Athens news and connect with others in your grade? Follow at Athens Oracle on Instagram for updates on interactives and events. Are you interested in joining the Athens Drive dance team? There's an interest meeting on Tuesday, May 25th at 2.15 in room 1718. If you can't make it to the meeting in person, go to the Google Meet using code AthensDance. Tryouts for next year are Tuesday, June 1st from 2.45 to 4.30 in the upper gym. For more information, email Ms. Simpson at esimpson at wcpss.net. COVID can't stop the spring musical. We can't watch in person, so the Athens Drive Theater Department presents their virtual musical. It premieres June 3rd via YouTube and be available to watch for two weeks only. Keep an eye out for the YouTube link. Now here's Mr. Romaley for some important announcements for seniors. Hey everyone, it's Romaley coming at you here. Well, we got a big week this week. On Friday, May 28th, it is the Senior Awards Assembly where we get to recognize the incredible achievements of the class of 2021. You do not want to miss it. Friday at 9 a.m. Seniors, you have to be there at 745 a.m. Yes, you do. Why do you have to get there so early? Well, number one, we got to talk about some of the things, what you can expect. We can sort of march you through and explain to you how things are going to work. But also, we got to get those graduation cords to you. A lot of the organizations and groups that you're part of, the Latin honor stoles, we have to get that stuff to you to get you fully dressed, which means you got to be wearing your cap and gown. So plan on it. Friday, May 28th, fully dressed, cap and gown at 745 in the upper gym. And if you haven't heard, it's open to families and friends. If you want to come and see the Senior Awards Assembly, come to it. Friday, May 28th, 9 a.m., upper gym. It's going to be fantastic. The next big thing is, if you haven't heard also, graduation. We have been officially given the word that graduation will be one ceremony in the stadium, everyone together, on June 10th at 9 a.m. June 10th at 9 a.m. So, and we're also going to increase your number of tickets to five, from four to five tickets. You'll get that at the rehearsal. Well, when's the rehearsal? Well, that's the day before, on June 9th at 9 a.m. So we have a rehearsal, June 9 at 9 a.m., and graduation, June 10th at 9 a.m. More information is coming about it. Stay tuned, stay plugged into the Senior Remind message, and you won't miss a thing. And let's wrap this year up, folks. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Mr. Romaley. That's all for today. See you next time.